Welcome, Nez Nation. I know it doesn't look like my normal studio. Today, I'm going to be talking. I'm on vacation, but I have to keep producing for you guys, okay? Especially when I get these kinds of breaks. We're having a great time, me and my family. I love your comments, love your support. If you want to know everything about what's going to happen on Monday, April 15th, in the Hush Money case, a.k.a. the Hush Money trial of the former president. This is your one-stop shop. I'm going to tell you everything. So just stick around, take notes, uh, listen very, very carefully, put on the closed caption that should be available. Just tap that CC down there. I'm going to share with you everything you need to know, what's encompassed, what's embodied, so you are up to date, up to speed in what's going to happen on Monday, April 15th, as well as my commentary and analysis. So the former president uh, is involved in the Manhattan District, New York, uh, a trial that is being prosecuted by Alvin Do Nothing Bragg. Remember who Alvin Bragg is? He's the guy who actually let off those illegal migrants who caught on video camera, physically beat New York police officers. He let them off. No charges, no fines, no record, nothing. He let them off Scott clean free. So Alvin Do Nothing Bragg, I call him Do Nothing Bragg, is representing the people, if you can believe that. New Yorkers, if you believe that Alvin Bragg is representing you, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm nuts, but I think he represents Jack. He is prosecuting Donald Trump. Uh, this case focuses on a series of of financial transactions dating back to 2016, encompassing hush money payments to adult actor Stephanie Clifford, also known as Stormy Daniels, um, intended to cover up the affair. And so uh, Trump's appeal to get this uh, trial delayed because he's actually doing important things like trying to get our country back. He's it's never, in, it's unprecedented in history. This trial is going to court. We are going to trial. It's happening Monday, April 15th. A jury, whoever that jury is, is going to be the most historical, the most uh, um, history-making juror in the history of, of court, in the history of law in this country. Why? Because they are going to be deciding a case prosecuting criminal fel felony charges, prosecuting a former president of the United States. This has never happened before. A former president of the United That's how bad they want to interfere in this election. That's how bad they want to get rid of this guy. And how many indictments does he have? I mean, it, it's too many to count. And so um, he got he, his bid to a higher court, to an appellate court, a uh, Supreme Court of New York, uh, his bid to get this trial delayed was denied. And so, of course, it's denied. I wasn't shocked by that at all. Why? Because everything about this case screams uh, election interference. Everything about this case screams we're going to go after this guy because he's not one of us. He's not one of the vermin swamp. He does things his own way. He thinks he can actually make changes. He's going to get in the way of our money-making schemes. He's going to get in the way of our industrial uh, uh, military complex. He's going to get in the way of all of our beautiful ways of becoming millionaires and billionaires and helping out our friends and our elitist pig associates rather than who they purport to serve us the American people. And so um, it got it got delayed. This is happening on Monday. So Stormy Daniels, uh, uh, these hush money payments were made uh, allegedly to adult actor Stormy Daniels. These payments were made through Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, uh, who is going to be uh, the people's star witness. Michael Cohen is Trump's attorney, uh, uh, where the payments were supposedly made aimed at ensuring Stormy Daniels' silence, particularly in the wake of that controversial Access Hollywood video, which I know we all remember, uh, with uh, Bush, whatever his first name was. So uh, the case is not merely about the affair, but it significantly revolves around the efforts to conceal these payments from financial disclosures, highlighting the falsification 
and cover up of these transactions. Excuse me while I get a little wata. Excuse me, thank you. And we all know the trial is presided by a corrupt, uh, um, total conflict of interest. His daughter worked for Kamala Harris. I did a video on this. Uh, he's campaigned and, 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 and said uh, horrific things about the president. He should recuse himself, but he's not. Uh, Judge Juan, uh, 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 Judge Juan Martian, I guess is his name. Um, and this begins Monday. Jury selection next Monday. It's expected to be a very, very lengthy process due to complexities involved, including managing logistics with court security, secret service. It's going to be a circus. I mean, it's going to be a wild and crazy circus. The trial, get this, I don't think this is accurate, but that's what they say. The trial is anticipated to last approximately six weeks a demanding period for jurors who will be away from their usual responsibilities, highlighting the significant burden on them. Not only that, but jurors are going to face this very unique, novel, never before, like I said, historic added pressure of adjudicating a former U.S. president who some would say is known for making certain comments about the judicial process, um, raising concerns about a, a potential exposure. Um, the, the, uh, uh, the, the identities of these jurors is going to be uh, anonymized, which is supposedly a, sp a specific measure to protect them from possible harm. Um, critics argue that the case focusing on record-keeping errors and false entries in corporate ledgers seems very, very minor for being the first criminal trial of a former president. You think? None of these are major. Letitia Big Shane James, scam. Fanny Cash Money G. Willis, complete fraud. The falsified documents, double standard with President Biden, Robert Hur's statement, which I did a video on, where he said he's too old, feeble, weak-minded, incontinent, to actually stand trial, yet he's able to run the free world? How does that make any sense? Talk about it. the profound conflict of interest, the profound hypocrisy, the profound double standard. Yeah, critics will say that uh, this, is, this is just very, very minor. Um, however, of course, Alvin Do Nothing Brag, they view it as a crucial step towards serious crimes, illustrating how false records can facilitate illicit activities. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that in his nation is their way of justifying their witch hunt. It's their way of using this sorcery of fancy semantics and fancy highfalutin, elitist, meaningless academic verbiage. I've been there. I know them. I've worked with them. They are all garbage. They are all corrupt. They only care about themselves. They will eat themselves to get what they want. They only attracted to power. They're only attracted to money. They don't care about anybody else. They don't care about student bodies. They don't care about people. They don't care about humanity. They don't care about any. You think Pelosi, Schumer, Schiff, Newsom, these vile, vermin, swamp filth. You think they care about you and me? You got another thing coming. This is so big because they could literally do this to anybody. Why? Because they, we have differing opinions. This is Orwellian in the grandest proportions. The case underscores the importance of accurate record keeping in preventing further illegal action. So uh, President Trump faces charges that will require the prosecution to prove, they have to prove. So the burden is definitely on the people. It's hard to kind of say the people when you know Alvin do nothing brag. He doesn't give a rat's ass about the people. But the burden is on the prosecution uh, to prove he falsified business records with the intent to defraud. Aiming to conceal other crimes such as campaign finance law violations or tax law infraction. So the defense theoretically could opt not to counter prosecution's events, evidence, relying on their uh, prosecution burden of proof. They're going to go after Michael Cohen. They're going to go after him because that's their star witness. 
Um, Trump's legal team is expected to present vigorous defense, particularly challenging the credibility of Michael Cohen. So I'm reading my notes here that I wrote myself and I'm kind of relaying them to you. These are my notes for this video. So if, if I look like I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I don't usually have this structure, but I'm on vacation. It is what it is. You're still getting the best information on planet Earth about everything about regarding this. Um, they're going to be challenging Michael Cohen, the prosecution's key witness, and Trump's estranged former attorney. You remember, he was the one who actually worked, the turncoat who worked for Trump. The thing about Michael Cohen is this. He admitted on the record he lied. So this is really an interesting dynamic with Michael Cohen. The guy is on the record when he uh, uh, testified before Congress. He is on the record as a self-admitting liar, falsifier, fraud, con, fibber. And so you better believe that Trump's defense team is going to use everything in their, in their legal power to essentially highlight and augment the fact that the credibility of Michael Cohen, the credibility of the state's key witness or the people's key witness is uh, uh, completely dysfunctional and completely lacking. And so they're going to go after that uh, uh, tooth and nail. You better believe that. As the trial unfolds, attention will be on how the prosecution proves Trump's intent to defraud through falsification of records and the linkage of these actions to other crimes. The trial promises, I mean, it's going to be, I'm going to, it's not televised. So just to let you know, some of you have been uh, commenting and leaving messages asking me, hey, Nez, is this televised? It's not televised. But you better believe your boy Nez, who is your number one source of real, objective, truthful news that mainstream media, legacy media, network television won't cover because I'm going to cover it because the stakes can't be higher. You better believe I'm going to keep you posted. I'm going to keep you in the loop. I'm going to give you the scoop. Um, there could be, you know, unexpected disclosures. There could be gag orders. There could be all sorts of things happening. Now, jury selection is supposed to happen on Monday. I can't imagine the fireworks I can't imagine the complexities. I can't imagine that's going to be a fast process. I'm sure Trump's defense team is going to do everything in their power to make sure that this process does not run fast and uh, uh, as, you know, basically lacking of the the legal uh, attentiveness, the, the actual gravity of what they're asking because the prosecution just wants to get this through because they know the judgment. They know what the judgment's going to be. They just want to get this through as fast as possible. Judge Mershan's not going to uh, uh, recuse himself because he knows everything's in favor of the people. Everything, given the jurisdiction, given where this case is taking place, given the reputation, the history of that court, the history of that district, the history of that state and city, everything is pointing towards a Trump conviction. So they want him in jail before he can actually win the presidency, which all polls are indicating he is in a pretty decent, not a major, but a pretty decent lead in national polls. And so that's what this is all going to come down to. That's what's all going to happen. Uh, it's going to really rely on the key witness. Uh, I don't know if um, Michael Cohen, I don't know if Stormy Daniels is going to be involved probably more than likely she will um i just think the whole thing is an absolute sham i think the whole thing is a complete sham and if if trump, if it was anybody other than the former president if it was anybody other than trump this case the waste of taxpayer funds the waste of taxpayer money the waste of resources the waste of energy into this this, this wouldn't even be happening. It would not happen at all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, Nez Nation. As always, I love, love hearing from you. What do you think about jury selection? What do you think about this case? What do you think about Judge Mershon not recusing himself? What do you think of Alvin do nothing brag? What do you think of Stormy Daniels, Michael Cohen? Do they Is the burden of proof on the people going to be something that they're going to be able to prove, not be able to prove? Is there too much... Uh, nebulousness or should I say ambiguousness 
Uh, is there too much in favor of one or the other? I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as always, new members, super chats, and super things get top priority. Consider becoming a member. It only costs you a cup of coffee to support our channel. Everything goes back into the channel. Uh, in the pinned comment, if you made it this far, and in the show notes and description, is our free newsletter, Meds Nation Insider. Can, it's free. Consider becoming a, a, a member of our, our free newsletter, the Nez Nation Insider. You get all the best live updates, top stories, current events, breaking news right to your inbox. It's absolutely free. Click on that link. Click on the, click on the option for free newsletter. Give us your best email. Bada boom, you're in. As always, check out these videos coming up on the screen right now. They're phenomenal. Follow, subscribe. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. I'll see you soon.